Hey guys, Sarah here from Recovering Book Order, and today I have a haul of all kinds of stuff. Um, I have been shopping <laughs> too much lately, but I have books. I've got craft haul. I have jigsaw puzzles. I have Bath and Body Works. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> so there is quite a bit though. Before I go any further though, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I started a Pango account. Um, I have my own Pango bookstore now, and I will leave the link to that down in the description bar. So if you know that you enjoy the way that I read, then that's a great place to pick up books that I have. I I'm getting rid of, you know? Okay, moving into haul. Let's start with, actually real quick, okay? Um, Starbucks. I had um, over 400 stars, so I was able to get a free mug. And um, it's very plain, but I really like it. And it just has the Starbucks thing down here. And it's a nice little tra travel mug with a handle. And I think it's fabulous. I haven't used it yet, but I like it. All right, so that's number one. Let's look at my books. Okay, so couple things. First of all, um, book of the month has increased it so that you can now pick up to five books for or your, your, um, book of the month for that month, plus an additional four from their site. And so I did take advantage of that. I ended up with four total. So I got one of the book of the month plus three additional. And then, um, I had a Amazon haul. This was a big month for, fantasy and I'm just like really craving fantasy right now so that's what there's a lot coming out so I, I got quite a bit all right so the first one this one is we'll do the Amazon haul first because that's on top so I got the magician's daughter this is by H.G. Perry and I had to get this one because it said that it was for Sans Sands. It was for fans of The Night Circus, which is my all-time favorite book ever. Uh, so this one says, A young woman is caught between two worlds in H.G. Perry's spellbinding tale of miracles, magic, and an island that might have been. Sounds beautiful. All right, then I got um, The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. And I apologize because I probably said that incorrectly. Um, and this one is, takes place on the sea, which I do like books um, that take place on the sea. The best-selling author of The City of Brass spends a new trilogy of magic and mayhem on the high seas in this tale of pirates and sorcerers, forbidden artifacts, and ancient mysteries, in one woman's determined quest to seize a final chance at glory and write her own legend. Yes, please. All right, then, oh gosh, and so many of the, the covers are beautiful, I think, on all of the books that I got this time. And this one, oh gosh, I just, I love it. And that's why I looked at the description was because of this cover. And that is Nocturne by Alyssa, uh, <coughs> Alyssa Weiss. And I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. And this one, in this haunting lyrical fantasy set in 1930s Chicago, a talented ballerina finds herself torn between her dreams and her desires when she's pursued by a secretive patron who may be more than he seems. Uh, it definitely gives me um, Phantom of the Opera vibes. So uh, it just, it sounds good. And I love ballet and I, yeah, I'm here for it. Okay, moving on to the next. I got The Hidden by Melanie Golding. And um, I have read a blurb about this. Um, and it pretty much said, like, you will be captured by this book in just a very, very short amount of time. This one says... Um, this is a folkloric suspense and a spine-tingling twist on Celtic mythology, um, which I think sounds fantastic. I've never read anything by Melanie Golding before, um, but yeah, so that one. And I'm, 
I'm thinking that I am going to make April, which is my birthday month. I think that's going to be fantasy month for me. We shall see. Okay. Um, the last fantasy, and now we're moving into the book of the month. This is a fantasy. This is Thistlefoot. And it is by um, Jenna Rose Nethercott. And I have never read any of the Baba Yaga stories, but I hear about them all the time and everyone seems to love them. They sound like they're up my alley. So this one is a sweeping adventure illuminated by Jewish folklore and adorned with lyrical prose as tantalizing and sweet as briarberries. Thistlefoot is an immersive modern fantasy saga by a bold new talent. And again, you look at that cover. I love the cover. All right. So then um, this is a uh, book that I read on audio many, many, long, long time ago. Um, and I did, did not have a, a, a physical copy of this book. And it's one of my favorites. It's the book that got me into sci-fi. And that is The Martian by Andy Weir. And I have since become a huge Andy Weir fan. I just, I adore his work. Um, you know, this is the story of a man who gets trapped on Mars and has to find ways to keep himself alive. And then with the work of his team, get back to the earth. And it's witty and funny. And uh, I just, I love the voice of the character in here. And I just, it's, chef's kiss. Okay, then I got, this was my choice from the actual book of the month for this past month. And it's one of my go-to authors. I read everything she puts out. And that is The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth. Um, I just, I love her writing so much. Um, and it kind of spans across genres also. This one says, prepare yourself for a thrilling, addictive novel about marriage, betrayal, and the secrets that push us to the edge in this latest book from the best-selling author of The Good Sister and The Younger, the Younger Wife, uh, both of which I've read and both which were very good. All right, and then the final from my um, book haul is Vladimir by Julia May Jonas. An incandescent debut about marriage and motherhood, art and love, and the temptation to see just how close you can get to the fire without getting burned. Yes. All right. So that is my book haul. All right. Moving on. Let's look at the jigsaw puzzles real quick. Now I have to move my cup of coffee because I had it on my jigsaw puzzles. All right. First, so a package came in the mail the other day from my husband. And he gave it to me. He's like, hey, I got a surprise for you. And I'm like, what? You know, what is it? He's like, just open it, just open it. And it was a jigsaw puzzle, and it's so cool. Um, so this is a oh, excuse the ring light on there. Um, this is the Jack Straw from The Grateful Dead. Uh, it's a thousand pieces. Suburban Avenger Studios in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, and there was only two thousand five hundred. Of these sold and man I love it huge Grateful Dead fan have Grateful Dead tattoo on my foot my daughter's named after a Grateful Dead song I'm gonna have on the epitaph when I die it's gonna say what a long strange trip it's been which is from trucking if you haven't heard it go listen to it love it <laughs> anyway so got this one okay excited for that and I think this one I might actually glue and frame. We'll see. I don't usually do that, but I am considering it. Okay. Then I got a new Ravensburger. This one is called Abandoned. Isn't that gorgeous? I just, I think it's so pretty. So this is another thousand piece and it is by Ravensburger. I love Ravensburger pieces. They just fit together so nicely. And that's like key for me when it comes to jigsaw puzzles. Okay, then the last one is um, Jane Austen Literary Lines, another thousand piece. And this one is from the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. And I have not done any um, puzzles by them, so I don't know what the pieces will be like. 
yeah, we'll see. Okay, so that's the jigsaw puzzles. And I'm going to put them back so that I can put my coffee back on top of them. Okay, moving on. So many bags. I've been waiting to put stuff away until after I did this. Okay, let's look at Bath and Body Works. So Bath and Body Works has out their spring collection now, and it smells like spring. I mean, it oh, it's just such, such good smelling stuff. Now, I'm a big, they sell my favorite hand soaps, and um, a lot of times I'll actually get them and take them to work. It's like a nice little treat in the middle of a work day. Um, so I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six hand soaps and three, um, you know, body mists. And of course there was, I had a, um, one free full size item. I had a 25% off coupon plus, um, a lot of the stuff was three for, I don't even remember how much, but so let me show you what I got and I think is worth it from this new springtime collection. So the first is um, Coco Paradise. And this one is fragrance notes of salted coconut, manoi, sugared neroli, and bronzed sandalwood. And oh, it smells so good. It smells like a man on the beach. <laughs> um, all right, then we got... Ooh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Cloud Nine. And this one has um, fragrance notes of Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. I'm a big fan of Amber. I like that a lot. And then the last one I got of the Body, or of the, uh, body Mist is the Sun Blooms and Sands. And the packaging's really pretty this year, too. No, I'm sorry. Sun Blooms and Suede. And the fragrance notes are white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream, which is just very different. Mm, so good. I don't, I'm like kind of hesitant to wear them yet because it's such a dichotomy <laughs> with the weather as it is. But the next time that we have a nice warm day, I am going to be wearing one of those. Okay, moving on to the hand washes. I got the Coco Paradise in the hand wash also. Then I got um, Watermelon Mojito, and isn't that pretty? Like the color, the, yeah. And it smells like fresh watermelon. It, it truly, truly does. Um, I got, let's see, I want to find the ones that are the summer ones first. Mango Papaya Paradise. Another one, look at those colors. Gorgeous. Uh, fragrance notes of succulent mango, golden papaya, and warm tropical breeze. I should have told you guys for this one, the fragrance notes were watermelon soda, pink rum, and cane sugar. And that is like exactly what it smells like. All right, then we got Fuji White Sands. And this fragrant notes are white sands, vanilla orchid, and warm amber. See the theme going with what my favorite fragrance notes are. All right, um, fresh cut lilacs. Now listen, guys, I'm like, Lilac's my favorite scent ever. I can never find candles, body products, perfume, nothing that actually smells like lilacs. Um, it all just, all, it just never actually smells like it. So when I smelled this, I was like, that literally smells like I'm standing at the foot of a lilac tree and I needed it. So these fragrant notes are lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, and last is from their White Barn collection, and I don't think this one's new, but it was the first time I would smelled it and I loved it, and that is Velvet Elderberry. And the fragrance notes on this are Ripe Elderberry Raspberries and Sweet Musk. All right, so that is my Bath and Body Works haul. I definitely recommend going and checking out the new Spring Scents. Um, they just... This one's so good. So, so good. Okay, moving on. Let's go to, okay, we're gonna do crafts. That's our last thing is crafts, and it's, I have a lot. Um, so let's start with, 
cross stitch and then we'll move into crochet. All right, so I got some fabric. So the first one is, um, this is a half a yard of 18 count earthen Ada and it is from, um, picture this plus, got it for one, two, three stitch and it's huge. This is actually, whoops, this is, I can't even get it all in. I mean, look, this is, ooh, gigantic. Um, this is for the temperature, uh, yeah, it's pretty good with the color. This is for the temperature bookshelf, Gothic temperature bookshelf that I am going to do for 2023. I would like to get that started here very soon. And then I got this one is also a picture of this plus. It's an eighth yard, 18 count, and it is aerial. And it's um, Ada also. And so this is for a gift that I'm going to be doing, um, a baby gift cross stitch. So we got that one. And then I am participating in a stitch along. Um, it's the Shire stitch along and we're doing this in April. There's um, several of us. Um, I will link the two other creators that I know for sure are doing it down below. And it's just absolutely beautiful. The Shire is my dream place to live. I want to live in a hobbit hole so badly. I can't even explain it to you. So anyway, I just got a, uh, it's a half yard of 18 count, easy count, white gray Ada. And I'm not even sure who it's by, but it's just, I mean, it's again, gigantic. See, <laughs> huge, 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 huge. Um, but it's gridded out because it's going to be a full coverage piece. I wanted to make sure I got some grids. All right. So that is the, oh, no, one more thing. Sorry. I also got um, the World of Cross Stitching. This is issue 322 right here. Um, and I try and get all of the World of Cross Stitching, Cross Stitcher, and Just Cross Stitch magazines. And it came with this little, this little guy here to cross stitch. All right. That's the cross stitch stuff. All right. Let's move on to crochet because yarn is where I've gone a little bit crazy lately. I should say I have some more stuff come, two more orders coming from one, two, three stitch also that are supposed to be here on Monday. Okay. Um, first of all, I got a new cross stitch slash knitting book and I do want to get back into knitting. Um, and this is Tom Daly's book and it is made with love. Get hooked with 30 knitting and crochet patterns. And there are some really, really awesome patterns in here. This is also a really good beginner's book. If you are someone who's looking to learn how to knit or crochet, um, there, he, he really gives a lot of step-by-step -step how to, how do you begin, how do you understand your yarn, um, how do you figure out what needles, all, all of that. So I really do recommend this. So I got that. All right. Now, um, I got, and I'm in the middle of making, my five-year-old niece, Ava, she is like a little old lady. <laughs> I love her so much. She's Oh God, she's just the best. Um, but she loves cardigans and she wears them a lot over top of her dresses. Um, even in the summer, she likes cardigans. So this is, I got this pattern to make for her. I just found this on Etsy. Sorry, it's black and white, but I want to waste the ink. And it's the mini home power cardi. And the pattern is by Megan Baumer. And it's a pretty little pattern, but this, so I got... The yarn that I got to make this is um, by I Love This Yarn, which you can get at um, Hobby Lobby. And this is the Daydreamery colorway. It's a number four weight 
252 yards, five ounces. And that is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like as it's stitching up. And so this is a back panel. Look how pretty that is. I'm absolutely in love with it. And these are Ava's favorite colors. So this is the back panel of the, and I think it's actually gonna go this way, back panel of the cardigan. So, and it's stitching up really nicely. I would recommend this pattern. I, I think it's really great. Um, all right, so the pattern was the haul and then that yarn. And then I am making a gift for um, my best friend, Christiane. And so I don't wanna show anything cause she might watch this, but she does know what the yarn looks like. So I can show that. So um, for that, I got, it's a red heart roll with it melange um 100 acrylic 389 yards 5.29 ounces and this is also a number four weight and got you should see how this is knit oh it is crocheting up beautifully beautifully I, i'm like absolutely in love with this colorway it's gorgeous um again i got this one from michael's or not from michael's i'm sorry from um hobby lobby and you know, my experience with Red Heart is a lot of times it's not soft. This one is very soft. You would never even guess it was actually Red Heart if you were to feel it. Okay. Um, I got... These came from Amazon. I got four skeins of these. And... Um, this is called Fairyland. It's a long distance cake ball is what it's called. It's, uh, 100 grams. And um, I don't know the color lot is just 1160. It's so pretty. And let me tell you, this is soft, 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 soft. Yeah, that's the colors there. So I think I'm going to use this after I finish this cardigan for Ava, I think I'm going to use this to make another one for her. So this is, oh, it's, it feels like a cloud. I mean, honestly, it's, it's great. All right. Then I tried a new place. Um, I kept getting these ads for Tamu on my, um, on my Facebook page. And I looked through, they have so many, um, craft things and they were so cheap. And I'm like, I, could the could could it possibly be good quality? Like I, I thought, you know, I'm gonna order just to see. And they had a lot of yarn options, so I got the. They sent I, this was pretty quickly that I got my first package. It only had one of the yarns in it that I ordered. Um, I ordered yarn. I ordered some diamond dot stuff, um, some floss, that kind of stuff. So, but I'll show you this yarn today. Um, I got another one that's the same brand, but it's a, a blue color. And I think I'm going to do a baby blanket in it. Um, I had a feeling it was going to be pretty small. And so I did make sure I ordered four of each color. So this is, um, it's called Serimo 1.76 ounce, 142 yards. Now, um, 100% acrylic. It is made in China. Um, there is no colorway, but I am like really pleasantly surprised with how it feels. Um, and if I remember, of course it doesn't say, if I remember correctly, this is a number four weight. I typically go with that because they're pretty easy to use, but look at this. And that is like the accurate color. Is that gorgeous? And the blue that I got is like a, like a right royal blue. I, I think it's so pretty. So this and the other blue, the other ones, when it comes in, I'm going to be making baby blankets with those. So, so far with my first order from Timu uh, that has come in, I'm happy. Okay. Then I got, now my husband, okay. There's this guy at work whose nickname is Sloth. And um, so when we were shopping one day, he saw that they had a Sloth crochet kit. And so he really wanted me to get it so he can make it and surprise him with it on his um, 
his who's a mechanic I think at work he's gonna put it on his toolbox and it's this little guy how cute is he <laughs> I love sloths they're one of my favorite animals absolutely adorable says hello my name is Sloan so everything's in here I found this at, at um, Joey and Fabric and then while I was there, they were having a yarn sale. Yarn sales. Oh, gosh. They just get me every time. So this one's by Lion Brand. Um, I got four cakes of this. Um, it is their Mandala Ombre line. It's a number four weight, 100% acrylic, 5.3 ounces, um, 344 yards. And is there a color name? I don't see the name of a color. Oh, Zen. It's called Zen. And how pretty is that? I plan on making a shawl with this one. Okay, moving on. Um, I so my best friend Christine, her daughter, um, is currently pregnant, and then she has two other kids. And so I decided I didn't get to make the other ones blankets when they were born but um so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and, and do three blankets one for each of them um so this is the yarn that I got for her second Luca um this is gonna be his blanket yarn and it is I'm in love with this yarn um I already made one I made uh the new babies out of this also so this is called Flex Mouchetures from Loops and Threads, um, which is Michael's brand, I believe. The colorway Seafoam, 6.53 ounces and 355 yards. And this is what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? And it is just, when it's stitched, it feels so silky smooth. I. I want a blanket myself from it. All right, so that's more baby blanket yarn. And actually what I wanna do is I wanna get a collection of baby blankets and then um, like blankets for the home that I can just pull out and do, give us baby shower gifts and wedding shower gifts or wedding, um, wedding gifts period. Uh, so I just kinda have a stash. Okay, then I got just some random, um, that I was going to use these in this like sampler blanket that I'm making. And then I think I'm just going to stick with like my, my, the stash I already had for making that sampler blanket. And there is this long duster cardigan that I want to make for myself. And I think I'm going to use these as part of that. It's going to, I'm going to just use a whole lot of different colors almost like I don't know not a sampler cardigan but like almost like a, a stash buster but anyway so I got um the first one is from I love the shorn and it is the sea muse color it's Hobby Lobby's yarn um five ounces 252 yards 100% acrylic number four weight and Oh, is what that looks like. Then I got this one is um, from Yarn Bee. They're soft secret, and gosh, it's so soft. And this is a pale aqua, six ounces, three hundred yards. Again, number four weight. And look how pretty that is. It's pretty gorgeous. Then this one is from I Love This Yarn. Um, it's their ombre line, and it is called Iced Sugar. 100% acrylic, 5 ounces, 252 yards, for number 4. Man, I love my ring light, but it's like, okay, that's accurate right there at the top. Then from Yarn Bee, their Yarn ID, this one's called Rose Water. And it's a number four weight, 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide, polyamide, polyamide. I don't know what that is. Um, did I say five ounces, 252 yards? I'm not sure if I did or not. And it looks like that. 
pretty. And then the last one from there is another I Love This Yarn. This one is um, aqua and black. It's, again, five ounces, 252 yards, 100% acrylic, number four weight. And isn't that pretty? I love that kind of blue and black together. Okay, last bag. Uh, this is from Michaels. So I have this book here. It's 100 micro crochet motifs. And these utilize like a lace, um, a lace weight. And I've never worked with that before. I did do a sample when I got home that day. It's like, I want to see if I can make these. And um, I had never used a hook that small. I had never used yarn this thin. And it is actually, um, it's called crochet thread. Uh, and I made a little flower. And oh, it turned out, it's just the cutest thing. It turned out so cute. I loved it. So um, I think I'll be able to get used to it and do great things with it. I'd also like to be able to make some um, doilies. And so we'll, we'll see. Um, but this is from Aunt Lydia's. It's called Classic 10. 10 is the size. It's 100% cotton. Um, Coates and Clark is the brand. And then it's Aunt Lydia's crochet thread is like the type, I guess. And this one is called Peacock. And it is actually considered a zero weight. Um, it's, it's a lace weight. And so I got this one super pretty. I let my, I let uh, Ava pick out the colors for me because I'm going to make these motifs probably to put in their little bag of fun yarn stuff that I have for them. Um, then I got same brand. All the information is the same except this color is Ocean and it's a mix of colors. And then the color... Ro French rose. No, it looks like that. Not pretty. Reminds me of lipstick. A really pretty lipstick. And that's it. All right. That's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I inspired you to make something, to go out and buy something, all that good stuff. Um, I my content is typically books, cross stitch, and crochet. Uh, some coloring sprinkled in. Also, I do not have a regular posting schedule because I have a lot of like mental health issues. Um, so I post when I feel, you know, pretty good. Uh, and if you want to find me anywhere on the interwebs, all the information is down in the description box. Like I said, check out my Pango store if you are interested in purchasing some cheap used books. Um, and yeah, I think email... Uh, Insta, Goodreads, Pinterest, which I'm not as active on anymore, TikTok, all that stuff. All the links are down below. All right, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, productive, fantastic day. And if you're in one of those states that's currently getting the 8,000 uh, feet of snow, my thoughts are with you. And I hope it stops soon. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.